Je suis vraiment assise comme une. Je vais me dresser un peu là aussi. Look at this! Anyways. Hello everybody and welcome to a new movie reaction and this is uh I was about to say Star Wars. No, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. So, uh what do you remember from The Fellowship of the Ring? Uh I remember that uh, Frodo and Sam uh went to somewhere to destroy the ring. Okay. And I remember that the others Uh, members of the fellowship uh, want to save uh, the Frodo's friends. Okay. Uh, the other hobbits. Yes. And that's what I remember. And then Godaf died. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you remember why they have to go to that place to destroy the ring? No. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna say it. Uh, it's because it can only be destroyed where it was made, mm -hmm. which is in Mount Doom. It's all of a name. Uh, in the lava of the of Mount Doom, okay. where it was forged, and this is the only place where it can be destroyed. So this is where they go. In dangerous lands. Yes. Um, do you remember why the other hobbits have been taken, Merry and Pippin? Mm, because. Uh... I remember that it's because uh, the person who asked to find the ring said that uh, it was a hobbit and uh, they, they think that um, that uh, it will be one of two, these two hobbits and okay, they yeah, don't that's really think totally it. they don't know there's another hobbit yeah that's the, that's totally why um, I didn't ask you last time, but um, now who may be your... Do, do you have a favorite character, least favorite character? Uh, somebody you just appreciate, somebody... Uh, maybe uh, Gandalf. Okay. Because he's very, uh, very special. Shame is gone. Yes. And I think that's it. Every character is very uh, interesting, but uh, maybe Gandalf was the most mysterious and he has lots of secrets, so that makes him very special. Okay. Um, what did you think about the, the whole, you know, background and everything? Because obviously this is quite heavy in terms of names words terms places and everything what did you think about this is it was it too confusing for you was it disruptive to your understanding the story or was it just okay uh, the beginning was very hard because there were lots of informations and uh, names to remember but uh, in the in the story they just uh, like I don't know how to say that specified on each character. Okay. So we don't know. Uh, we know how how they think, how they act, and they have all uh, they are, have all their specialities. Like there is a dwarf, I think. There is the Hobbit. There is uh, uh, the elves. So you're talking about the races. Yes. Okay. They are very specific. So they. Uh, it's lots to it's a lot to remember but it's not too hard because they are very different okay yes uh, anything you are expecting in this movie to happen maybe uh, I hope that uh, Frodo will meet uh, the Lord of the Ring but I don't know if it's going to happen you know who the Lord of the Ring is yes it's a very bad man okay yeah who who created the ring his name was I don't remember. Sauron. Sauron, yes, because S A U R R O N. Yes, and uh, I hope that uh, every characters will be together again okay. after this uh, at the end of the movie. But I'm very I think it's very interesting the title Two Tower. Maybe they will be uh, to fight. I don't know how to say that. Okay. And. I think it will be interesting. I expect nothing. I just hope that it will be a, will be lots of action and no more characters die. Okay. 
Uh, so knowing that there are three movies and that the first movie ended on a, well, what would you say? Would you say that the first movie ended on a positive note or negative note? Because Mary and Pippin have been taken, yet Frodo is gone with the ring and everything. Mm, I think it's a, a positive way that um, Frodo will do what he has to do and the others are every characters are liking not their place but they do what they have to do like Frodo okay. the Frodo he needs to do this alone he can be with all the fellowship I think okay so what do you expect the ending of that movie to be do you expect it to be ending on the same positive note or on a more negative note um, a more negative note. More negative note. Expecting anybody n uh, else or new to die? Or no? I hope this no. Movie? I don't know. Okay, because we already got two characters dead yes. in the first <laughs> movie. <laughs> and there's this one and another one to go. And these are very long movies, so a lot could happen. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so uh, everybody, the full length reaction to this movie and obviously Fetchup of the Ring is available on Patreon. Link down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, that would be very nice, especially if you're new here. Welcome. Leave a like. Uh, you could also check my secondary channel uh, called Sainke Gaming. All the links to all of my social media are down below in the description box, as well as the link to the Discord server if you're interested in that. Be on the lookout for my Twitch channel. Uh, I'll be streaming over there all summer. And with my sister, she's going to make an appearance. We're going to play uh, Resident Evil Biohazard. Uh, and, and yes, also do uh, watch parties or anything, really. Uh, so... Lots of things going on, but without any further ado, we're gonna jump into the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. Let's go. Here we are again. I don't like his face. He seems mm. very, uh, very mad. <laughs> Gandalf's? No, the monster. Oh, the Balrog. Yeah. <laughs> Epic. Should should burn like. <laughs> yeah, he should now. burn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody says. <laughs> it's a long fall. Yeah. Like. Well, granted, they've been falling like for thirty seconds and they are not done. Look at the scale. You know the size of the barrog, and you see just this tiny in the cave. I don't know it's if it was a dream or a vision. Just a dream. Uh, I think it was, it was a vision. A vision? Yes. Uh. Mm. The eyes of Frodo. Frodo. Of Sauron. Yeah. Oh. You asked to see him. He's very scary. <laughs> mm. I've seen it thousands of times and still, uh, don't touch me. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't understand why why you use us. At this point, technically, I don't know much more than you do, <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't believe you! No, believe I don't, him? I don't believe you either. Okay. <laughs> Sam! He's trying to trick us! The 
sword is like the master of the precious. No, precious and dust and thirst for rules and pits. I don't know how many people uh, are in his head. Sick it is. Give him some medicine, boys. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to imagine what this is. Ah, yes, put it out. Mm. Disgusting. Yeah. I like him. You like him. Yes. <laughs> to stand against the might of Sauron and Saruman. So Saruman served. Look at the name of the movie. Yes. So you get it now, the two towers. Because Saruman and Sauron work together. Yeah, and they both have the tower. Mm. This is the tower of Sauron and Saruman has a tower as well. I wanted to say that uh, Sauron and Saruman are allies. So they... I think they are invisible. Like, uh, Saruman has an army and Sauron are has the eyes so they see everything uh, they can fight against all armies and they have monsters like that <laughs> <laughs> they don't look tired <laughs> <laughs> champion brothers <Can't> <laughs> They don't look if they have the ring, so they did this for nothing. <laughs> they don't exactly know that Saruman wants the ring. He just told them one has something of great value. He didn't tell them exactly what to look for. What to look for anything, in fact. This seems very stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> A little just peeping screaming makes me laugh. <laughs> Speak quickly. Give me your name, boss master, and I shall give you mine. <laughs> you would die before your stroke fell. <laughs> <laughs> We are friends of Rohan, and of Theoden, your king. We left none alive. We piled the carcasses and burned them. Mm. I have not noticed that the dwarf was... so... little. <laughs> like... <It's a> dwarf? <laughs> what did you yes. think? <laughs> Sorry, I called bullshit on tracking this. <laughs> How can he know that? He knows that. Instincts. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Tree is talking. Tree? I am no tree. I am good. <laughs> side. I am on nobody's side. Because nobody's on my side. Little orc. White 
is on this side but the white wizard don't touch it Frodo! no no oh disgusting don't drink the water <laughs> Save them. Yes. I don't know if Gurum is good or he's doing that for something. Like he wants to have the ring or if he's very uh, not good but gentil, kind. You are not so very different from a hobbit once. They are dead, no? Well, they are already dead. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! I love that reveal shot. Wizard. He's very powerful. I am Saruman. Rather Saruman as he should have been. Do you know it was him? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Get off the grave. That was my name, Gandalf. I am Gandalf the White. So look wise, do you prefer the white Gandalf or the Gandalf the Grey? Maybe the white Gandalf. Okay. They have no chance. Gandalf the White now. I release you from this spell. Man, <laughs> 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 as poison is drawn from our wound. I oh, see this is not the wrong. Ah, this is the wrong stuff. I don't have Gandalf the White stuff. <laughs> cool transition. I love this transition of yes. like pushing Saruman out of him. Hmm. Yep. He's younger. He's back to, norm, to his normal self. For how long he was under the spell? Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly. Enough blood has been spilled on his account. Would you let him go? No. You don't know the guy, but it, makes, it gives me chills, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that cut us a voice. Something. Oh. Open war is upon you. I don't remember. He is the. He should be king. Aragorn. Yes. Yes, but king of another uh, kingdom. 
not this one. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> 300 lives of men I walked this earth, and now I have no time. With luck, my search will not be in vain. I'll let you make the calculations. Yes. At dawn, look to the east. Go. First light of the fifth day. At dawn, look at the east. It's very precise. <laughs> They should kill him. Yeah, they should have. <laughs> I want to help him, Sam. Why? That's the question. <laughs> no. No. Master? Yes. Precious. Mm. False. He definitely have more than one people in his head. Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> there are no travelers in this land. Only servants of the Dark Tower. Find their hands. They were so close. And now, if you can trust them. Trust them? Mm. They don't know if they can trust Sam and Frodo. They don't know them, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> good. Really? <laughs> good liar. King Theoden has a good memory. He was only a small child at the time. Then you must be at least sixty. <laughs> Eighty-seven. You are one of the Dunedain. I'm sorry. Please eat. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so he's 87 years old. Yeah. Huh. Huh? Because in normal normal movies you would expect just him to be like this on the cliff, but no. <laughs> no, he fell. Maybe he's alive. I think I expect he's alive. Uh, what kind of device could bring down the wall? Hmm? <laughs> so everybody's like stupid. <laughs> This too many people. <clears throat> it's like tens of thousands. Mm. This night the land will be stained with the blood of Rohan to war <laughs> Whether by the sword or the slow decay of time, Aragorn will die. And there will be no comfort for you, no comfort to ease the pain of his passing. It's him. Mm. There is nothing for you here, only death. What do you think about that? That situation? I don't understand. What do you don't understand? Oh, um, he went to war. And he died here. And she was in love with him. With Who died? Saruman? Oh, Saruman. Um, Aragorn? He didn't die. So was the man uh, 
she... Oh, you mean the, that we saw on yes. the... Oh, it was just like a vision or some sort. It was just because you, his father was talking about this, so you just had the image of what it would okay. be. So she was the daughter of the, the master of the elves. Yeah. And she left because mm. her, her father told her to do that. But uh, Aragon still alive, so I don't understand if she's dead or she's alive now. No, she is alive. She's alive, but she has to go with the rest of the elves. That's what her father wants to do. But she wants to stay for Aragorn, but he's telling her that there's barely any chance that he's going to come back alive from this. And if he lives, he's going to die because he's immortal and she's now she's immortal. So, so in, in any cases, she says that they can't live together forever so that she'd be better off just to go with the rest of the elves, which is what she's doing in the end. Yes, but Aragorn is sort of immortal. He's not immortal. He, live, he lives longer, but he's not immortal. Okay. And this is Samwise Gamgee, your bodyguard. It's <laughs> <His> Gardner. It's <laughs> <His> Gardner. <laughs> If something has happened to Boromir, we would have you tell us. He was my brother. Ah. There's a little family resemblance. Yes. <laughs> Very little. Won't you deny your own father? If there's need to go to Rivendell, send me in his stead. You? A chance for Faramir, Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. I think not. He's very hard with his, his son. <laughs> He's horrible with his son. He's terribly horrible with his son. What's <laughs> that? She's a gathering. A gathering of what? Come on, <laughs> the question. More trees. Edin Dagor, Hen Urir Othari, Natha Dagathire. And I shall die as one of them. Where is Gondorf? Well, he left you, you know, and he, yes. he said that the fifth day, look at this. An alliance once existed between elves and men. We come to honor that allegiance. Silence. You could have picked a better spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lucky old buyer. Let's hope it lasts the night. Your friends are with you, Aragorn. Let's hope they last the night. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, really. <laughs> of course. Oh. <laughs> How the situation could be more bad and sad. <laughs> oh. This one didn't even get to fight, he died even <laughs> before the fight started. <laughs> you better trust this man, cuz. Who yells, cuz. <laughs> Provoke him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. gonna get him? No. I'm sure not. I'm not sure. <laughs> mm. Oh 
of this. <laughs> He has so much style. Can you imagine if the orcs knew that there was a door on the <laughs> side? They are very prepared. <laughs> yeah. They know how to do war. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but... He seems... angry. Now he's gonna do something. <laughs> you wanna know why your brother died? He tried to kill him! The ring drove your brother mad! Watch out! Mm. That's not exactly why he died, but. <laughs> Good on you, Sam. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. So cool. I don't know how it can be a positive ending of, on this movie. Ah, uh, and maybe they'll win. Mm. Maybe. Nazareth, Nazareth, and the Red Dawn. Horses in, in the castle. He's marching on the orcs. <laughs> that horn is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> They're clearing the bridge. I mean, you can surely fight better in the night. I'm sure. I'm sure that Gandalf will appear now. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. That's a steep uh, <laughs> Look at this shot! <laughs> Look at that! Oh! It's gonna do something. It's gonna do mud. <laughs> <laughs> The tree, the burning tree. <laughs> See, man. <laughs> yep, so bad. No. Oh. Just want to die. It's written is in his face. I don't trust him. Huh? Frodo wouldn't have got far without Sam. I was being serious. So was I. I like their friendship. Cool scene. Okay, so. What do you have to say? Mm, lots of details again in this okay. movie, but I was more confused at the first movie. Okay. Because uh, I knew the characters and I knew the basic story. Um, 
I'm interesting about the secret around Gollum. I want to know why he's acting like that and why he's struggling, fighting with her, with himself. And at the end of the movie, he says she, so I don't know who she is. Um, I think it's interesting that they're all going to Mordor at the end of the movie and they're going to destroy the second tower, I think. Like okay. the first tower is, has been destroyed, even if it's not destroyed. Um, it's not really destroyed. You get what you mean. And I think it will be interesting, yes, to see... Uh, to see how we all the all they how all they can um, fight with Sauron, I think. Okay. Um, regarding Gollum, since <laughs> I, don't, I I don't know how much you know makes the final cut and everything, but during the movie you spent a lot of time just every time Gollum was on screen, you was you were like Gollum. I don't know if the mic always, always picked it, but sometimes I could, I could hear you whispering, Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, Gollum. <laughs> um, so yeah, so yes, he basically is like he, he. So there's you. You got a thing. There's Gollum. There's Meagol. Uh, do you remember in the first movie what Galadriel said about Gollum getting the ring and what the ring did to him and mm-hmm. everything? Ah uh, yes, I remember it is that Gollum kept the ring during five hundred years, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, that's it. Um, makes him going crazy. Um, but I think it's different. Like they, there, is, Gloom has a a good part and a bad part, and maybe the dark part is the is like he's controlled by the darkness of the ring. Okay. Now you saw there was also Bilbo uh, in the last movie. We didn't see Bilbo in this movie. But Bilbo in the last movie, you know, he was starting to become a little bit obsessed mm-hmm. himself as well by the ring. And and right now we have Frodo, who is also struggling with the ring and everything. Um, luckily, he has Sam by his side. You you said that you really enjoyed their friendship. Um, what about? The, the the story were you only confused by um Gollum or or were there other points that you were confused about hmm. the love story of Aragorn okay um so i okay so just what what happened in this movie okay so just so you know, guys, because you still I don't know what makes the final cut and what doesn't make the final cut. But during the movie, we had a extensive chat at the moment, um, talking about Arwen, the visions she had while she was talking with Elrond and and everything, um, because you weren't really understanding what was going on, uh, what was her father was asking of her, what was the problem basically between them two, because, you know. The Lord of the Ring is really quite dense as a narrative, especially since we're watching the extended edition. Uh, English is not our first language, and the Lord of the Ring has a lot of um, old ways of wording things and everything. So for regular English speakers, for natural English speakers, it's already quite a challenge. So for somebody who's not speaking English naturally... uh, (coughs) <coughs> sometimes it's difficult you know you guys have seen the movies hundreds of times most probably like I do but this is our first time so just to I'm not going to be explaining things that have not been said everything. I'm just going to tell you what has been said in the movie which is that basically Elrond's problem is that the elves are all living uh, Middle Earth you got that. Mm-hmm. They are living Middle Earth because they believe that uh, their time is done here. Like they said, the time of the elves is over. And so they're living Middle Earth. Um, they're living Middle Earth. He wants Arwen, who is his daughter, to come with them 
with her people, like all the other elves. But she doesn't want to go because she wants to be with Aragorn. But what Elrond is saying is that Aragorn will either die in battle or he is going to die of old age because he's mortal. Even though he can live longer, we're going to talk about this later. Even though he can live longer, he's going to die at some point. So he's telling her, you're better off just coming with us now because you're going to end up alone and sad in the end, otherwise. So that's the the struggle that she had. And we saw during the movie, well, uh, in the middle of the movie, something like this, she decided to go with the elves. So that was that is what was going on. And, and there were... Um, visions of Aragorn, you know, being dead and her being dead. These, are, these were just visions. Okay. Uh, the, the, that's the way that um, the director chose, you know, to show what Elrond was talking about. He was saying, he's going to die, you're going to be heartbroken and everything. That was just the director showing uh, the future, you know, that, well, the potential future. Mm-hmm. That was not like a, an actual... Well, that, that may be, but that scene was not like an actual uh, showing what happened or, you know, it was just to illustrate what he was talking about. Uh, anything else? No, everything was clear. Okay, so at the beginning, uh, we had, we go back with Gandalf uh, in the mines with the Balrog and he's fighting the Balrog. Um, he dies. <laughs> he dies and he comes back so he's got, he's coming back as Gandalf the White uh, I feel like I should I could explain something here that is not uh, said in the um, in the in the movies so it's not like I'm spoiling anything or you know but basically the wizards are like an order and Saruman, like I said last episode, you, you asked last last episode, last movie, you asked uh, if Saruman was more powerful than Gandalf. And yes, uh, I, so I didn't say he was more powerful because obviously you saw what Gandalf the White can do now. But Saruman is supposed to be like the number one of the wizards. Okay. And Gandalf, when he becomes Gandalf the White, like you questioned, he says... I am Saruman, or rather Saruman as he sh- should have been, meaning that he has been reincarnated as a new Gandalf to be better than Saruman. Okay. Which is, that is why, uh, that is what he means. Basically, there's Saruman the White, Gandalf the Grey, and there are the wizards, but we don't see them in the movies and everything. So that's something that's not said in the movies because it's not important to understanding the movie in itself. But if maybe you're wondering why he said, I am Saruman, that's the idea behind of it. Um, so we saw new kingdoms, new kings, new characters as well. Um, we've got a little bit of a love something with Elwin and Aragorn. What do you think about this? It's very fast. Like she saw him and she f- fell fall in love. Like it was very fast. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you get from Eowyn, or if you have anything to say about her or not? Or I not understand very well why she thought about. Uh, uh, when they talk about her story, of it. I I don't get it because I don't. Her really... uh, story, Erwin's story. Yes. Which, when? And Erwin is was the girl. Yes, yeah, she's yeah. the she's the blonde girl. During the during uh, the during the their travel uh, to uh, the fortress, mm-hmm. uh, they talk about her, but I don't get it. I don't, they um... talk about her. Yes. Oh, you mean with the dwarf? Yes. No, that's not what you mean. No. They thought the dwarf fall. Yeah. She ran to him and yeah. then he the king talked to Aragon. Oh. Okay. Uh well basically no, they they were just saying the fact that she was uh, an orphan, that she's always lived here. Is him the king's she, uh, he's her uncle 
and he's saying that he should have been her more, you know, more present and everything. He's not always been here. So basically, he's just saying that mm. she's not had a mm. very uh, easy childhood and way to grow up. That's basically what, he, okay. what he's saying. Um, and, you know, she's a, basically, she's a tough girl. She doesn't want to, um, to, to, to be like, just a wife uh, that stays in the background and everything. She wants to <laughs> fight with them, but she can't fight with them really right now. So she's, so she's quite frustrated. Um, we had Faramir, uh, Boromir's brother. Uh, so you saw, you met their father, uh, who's ruling Gondor right now. He's not very uh, nice with mm. his son. Um so you finally got uh, to see to see Gollum. Yeah, we talked about Gollum because uh, I I didn't say it last uh, movie, but I hadn't really realized that you never really get to see Gollum until in this movie. So when in the first movie you said something like "I want to see his face," I believe you said. Um, I was like, "Oh right, that's right. You never see his face in the first mm -hmm. movie," and I had totally forgotten about this. Um, so right uh, as of right now, um, the question before starting a movie was do you think this is going to end on a positive note or on a negative note would would you say the story in general or this movie this, this movie well this movie is like mm. <laughs> uh, mm, this movie is a part positive and a part negative uh, we see that uh, Frodo is going to fight with the the power of the ring and we see that he's go is part of confused about it and he's very sad because uh, he's suffering a lot and uh, it's, i think it's the negative way because after this story we will be never the same and the positive way is that they win the the battle okay, yeah in the castle and uh and they are going they are going to murder so they can fight together and so it's a negative and a positive way like they're going they're all going to lose something during this war okay uh as your situation about or your thoughts about the characters change do you have sorry uh is Gandalf still your favorite character uh, well, now you have a new type of Gandalf uh is he still your favorite character or is it somebody else mm. or do you have a character that you like less maybe mm, uh, maybe Gimli Gimli <laughs> he's funny and he brings some positive vibes in the movie like <laughs> he and I think I'm not like him but I have the same character as him like always something to to do to say something funny and I think he I'm identified me as uh, if I was a character, I, I'd maybe be Gimli. Okay. <laughs> because <laughs> he's With, just... Without the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, without the beard. Um, okay. Uh, well, good. A anything else you might want to add or think about that we did not discuss? I don't know. I want to, to say about the friendship between Sam and okay. Frodo. Uh, it's very... It's a very. I, I like the fact that they just bring this friendship uh, between them, and they. He is the gardener, and uh, Frodo <laughs> is. Uh, he's Frodo, and he have a lots of. Uh, he have a heavy duty mm -hmm. on him, and yeah, you said that Sam, in the first movie. Sam, he is very like clear in his mind. He wants to keep Frodo right, and he always do things like he has the choice to not go with him, but he go with him and that's a very, he's loyal and it's one of the friendship quality that I like personally. So that's why I think it's very important. Even with the other characters like Legolas and Aragorn and Gimli, they are very friends and there are much love between them, even if they are competition, like they only <laughs> competition. <name. laughs> they yeah. kill. But Yes, I like the as this aspect of friendship. Okay, really great. Well, 
uh, what do you think about the fact that Gollum is uh, so traveling with them? Because during the movie, you've been like, oh, I trust him. Oh, he's okay. Oh, he's not okay. Oh, he's. It's like going back and forth. Well, it went back and forth in your mind. So, uh, how do you feel like by the end of the movie, or or what do you think might happen in the last movie? Because next time is going to be the last movie. Mm. It's going to be the conclusion. Yes. Uh, I. I think Gloom will be fighting again, again uh, with himself. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe at the end when Frodo may be killed or maybe uh, uh, in danger, maybe uh, the Smeagol will come back and save him. Okay. But uh, you you asked me at the fir in the first movie if I thought that Gloom has a part on the movie and oh yes if he yeah um, Gandalf said uh, Gandalf said I think he has a part yet to play for good or for ill I ask you indeed and you said for ill yes and now I'm not really sure how how places or part is going to play. In this movie, but it's, it's sure that he is very important. Even if in the first movie we don't really see him, he takes really um, more places, uh, spaces in the in the second movie, and it's like not the I don't know how to say that, but it's the character that can change the story. Um, uh, can change the story okay. like. All these choices are going to affect the story, like okay. for Frodo and all the world, because yeah, uh, basically yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I think he's very interesting. We had a little chat after watching the first movie off camera, where we where you told me um, that the Lord of the Rings was not the type of movie you were expecting to see. Mm. You were expecting something more colorful and everything. Um, now that we are going more and more in the first movie there was no big battle like there was here uh, it's just the kind you like uh, don't like I don't know mm, I like the, this kind of movie I think there is action there, there is emotions there is beautiful landscape and I don't have any real type of movie I think uh If the movie is interesting, I will watch it. But if it's boring, I will don't watch it. And there's lots of information and characters and fight and everything. So, yes, I like I like this type of movie. Okay. Was there anything in this movie maybe that you didn't like or a character, an element, an element of the story and whatever? Don't be afraid. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, the only negative point was the the informations. Like there are lots of informations, and sometimes you don't really get it or know why is coming now. And and that's like the first movie. I think I need to see it again to have all the yeah. details because three four hours is very long. For a movie yeah the thing is uh and this is for you guys uh i had well there's one particular comment that i um responded to on the first movie reaction where somebody was telling me don't explain out too much you're treating it like a baby and da -da 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 -da. first the lord of the ring there like she said there's a lot of information Uh, it's in English. It's like I said, an old type of wording at the time. A lot of complicated words for n native English speakers. English is not our first language. Obviously, as you can tell, uh, my sister has less practice in English than I do. So, when sometimes I ask to check, uh, when some when sometimes I check on her uh, to see if she's understood something, it's for two reasons one of them is to get her thoughts about something in a movie that she maybe would not express her opinion otherwise so you get it so you know in the state of mind she's in 
at that moment if it's gonna change maybe later you know uh and the second reason is because i want to make sure that she understands what's going on because i believe um you know as a writer as a filmmaker but as a viewer as well that there's nothing worse when watching a movie that to not understand something and to drag this throughout the whole movie because then you're gonna miss out on basically anything that comes after this if you if you if if you miss something, then you don't understand anything that follows. So I'm not explaining things that are going to come. I'm not uh, explaining the whole meaning of anything, of everything. Uh, I do sometimes, but I don't do it all the times. I do not do, I do not say anything that's going to hint at future events. I do not confirm nor deny any of her theories. Uh, I just make sure that she understands what it is that just happened and what it is that was just said. That's all. So, so she doesn't miss on something else. Or so she doesn't drag a question uh, unnecessarily, you know, that, that is going to just linger in her mind and just prevent her from actually enjoying and getting what is happening next. So this is why... Because a lot of things is a lot of things, and because English is not our first language, that's why sometimes I ask a lot of questions and everything. And basically, that's why this post reaction discussion is as well. So we clear up things before going into the next movie. Um, but obviously, no spoilers of any sort as to what is going to happen. Um, and obviously, I don't have time during the movie to explain everything, so. Um, the third and the last movie of the Lord of the Rings. After this, we're going to jump into The Hobbit. Um, so the last movie of the Lord of the Rings is called The Return of the King. Hmm. Any predictions? Um. So, uh, so, so sorry, but the two towers, so you've you got the two yes. towers. Okay. The Tower so, of Sauron and the Tower of Sauron. Yes. So The Return of the King can be lots of things like Aragorn is a king so maybe he's going to be on the throne of Gondor okay. maybe Sauron will come back and then or will have the ring and can bring darkness in the middle earth but um, I don't know it's the two thing two things I I may it's the hypothesis Mm -hmm. that I hypothesis hypothesis I I have and maybe is I'm wrong but uh I would like that uh Aragorn became become king becomes king yes it's one of the it's one of the hypothesis I like <laughs> hypothesis hypothesis um, I like splitting. <laughs> um I would like too that someone came back maybe he will never come back i hope he will okay. but maybe he ne he'll never come back you hope he will just because it would be cool to see him or you hope he will win at the end um, i don't know i like sad uh, ending okay. but, but i'm not want to be uh, judged by about doubt about doubt but yes i like sad ending and maybe it would change if the bad man will win at the end but I don't know. Okay. Um, last question, but not least. So far, which movie do you prefer? The first one or this one? Um, I don't know, because the first one was very interesting. Uh, because there are the presentation of all characters. And they are always uh, movement like action. And in the second one, there are parts where they are nothing like it's very slow and just characters are discussing and they are no D discussing discussing disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, there is no action like they are no action in the second movie. Uh, 
at certain time like yeah at certain time because there's like an hour and a half <laughs> battle in the end so yes. <laughs> the beginning of the movie was more um slow than the ending okay that's why maybe i prefer the first one okay. because there are action all along the movie okay all right well thank you everybody for tuning in and for uh coming with us on this journey of well her journey of the Lord of the rings because Obviously, I've seen the movies before. Um, Full-length version is available on Patreon. Link down below in the description box. Thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters uh, for their kindness, for the love and for their support. Thank you very much to all of you guys here on YouTube as well. That is very appreciated. Don't um, forget to leave a like if you enjoy this. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If there's anything that, uh, you you know, you, you, you have to say. I'd like to know. Uh, about you guys who what was your first reaction maybe seeing the movies have you read the books before because obviously some people have read the books before seeing the movies you have never read the books obviously uh i've read the books um but i've seen the movies before watching the before reading the books let me know uh what your story of the lord of the ring is i'd be quite curious to know uh myself um you can check my secondary channel called sign k gaming uh resident evil dark souls red dead redemption 2 we're gonna start resident evil biohazard well by the time that this video comes out we must have already started on twitch be sure to follow me over there or to subscribe to this secondary channel and i'll be seeing you for a new reaction or the lord of the rings um the return of the king until then please take care have a nice life bye